Hey Church and welcome to Life Church Online. If it's your first time with us, we want to welcome you. If you have been to Life Church many times before, we want to welcome you as well. It's a little bit different, but I pray that this morning, as we go through our service together, I pray that God will speak. I pray that you will actually be encouraged and that you will see, if you're watching for the first time, that church can be incredibly fun. It's a new way of doing church, but I pray that you're going to really, really enjoy it. Before we go into a time of worship, I want to read something to you that uh, I believe is really pertinent to where we are at the moment. At the moment as a church we've been looking at the book of Hebrews and in Hebrews chapter 10 verse, tw- uh, verse uh, chapter 10 verse 23 it says these words let us hold tightly without wavering to uh, to the hope we affirm for God can be trusted to keep his promise let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. Verse 25, and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. You know, I don't know about you, but this is a new way of doing church. This is a new way that we are going to worship God this morning. But I want to encourage you that as we come together, just like the Bible says, we don't want to neglect meeting together. So I want to encourage you to get into the worship this morning. When we come around the notices, if you want to give a cheer, nobody else will hear you, but give a cheer. When we take up our offering, that'll be your uh, your opportunity to go online and actually give your offering this morning. As we we come around the word of God get your Bible out and begin to take notes because I believe that there is something incredible about when a group of people come together with one mind one uh, purpose and that is to worship God and that's what we're going to do this morning so I'm going to hand over to the worship team now and they're going to come and they're going to lead us in a couple of songs worship God and together we're going to see God be glorified this morning here at Life Church.
Cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. That is Christ my 
Wow, what an incredible time of worship we had. And uh, just a massive thank you to the whole creative team for giving up their time and effort to come down. Um, this is the part of our service now where we're going to come around our prayer and our praise. If you're a part of Life Church, you'll be familiar with this. And if you're not, well, the reason we do this is we believe in the power of prayer. We believe that when we pray, God hears. And not only does he hear, but he wants to move in our lives. And before we pray, I want to share a praise report. And the praise report is just a, a good news story of what God's doing in the life of someone in Life Church. And uh, this week, Ben and Abby Crew, they had their little boy, Ted, who was safely born and delivered. So we want to thank God for baby Ted. And we love you, Ben. And Abby and we hope everything's going well at home but we want to pray for, for some prayer requests right now we want to pray for people who have submitted prayer requests who are feeling maybe a bit vulnerable at the moment who are feeling physically unwell who are feeling a bit isolated at the moment we want to pray for those people at Life Church that God would touch them and meet them exactly where they are and also we want to pray for the just the wider um, issue of coronavirus. We want to pray for our government. We want to pray for the NHS and every person who's on the front line combating what we're facing in these times. So why don't you join with me? Why don't we pray together and believe that God is going to move in these situations? So Heavenly Father, we thank you right now. We thank you, God, that right now, even through a camera online, Lord, that you hear these prayers, Lord, and you want to move in people's lives. So Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will dispel fear. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you'll bring peace, that you'll bring comfort. Father, Lord, that you'll bring healing in situations. Father, we pray for your protection. Lord, we pray for your provision where people need it financially in this season, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you would move in an incredible way. Lord, I pray for every need from every Every person that is watching right now, Lord, that you would meet them exactly where they are, that they would know your presence, they would know, Lord, that you are with them and that you are for them. Lord, and I thank you, God, that you are a God who promises that you will never let us down, you will never leave us nor forsake us. And I pray, Lord, that we would know that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey Life Kids, we're so excited to be online this Sunday. We hope you're having a great day and you're treating your mothers well on this Mother's Day. We are so excited to announce that we have got resources online for you on the Life Church website on the Kids page. We have got a video especially for today where I sit down with Grace and we talk about a Bible story all to do with a mother and her son. So that's going to be really exciting and also on that website you will find some resources, some crafts and some more videos to be watching in this time. We hope you're doing well and you're having a great time at home. See you soon. Hey kids, what an exciting time for you, hey. So parents, we really encourage you after the service, why don't you head over to the website, mylifechurch.co.uk, where there's a specific page for kids to watch uh, a video from Hal and the team and also some different kind of resources there for you. But um, even though church is looking different this morning and we're, we're not meeting physically together, there's actually so much still going on that we want you to be a part of. So we want you just to be ready, maybe get your diary out and put some of these dates in your diary because every Tuesday we're gonna be gathering on Facebook Live at 7.30 where, where we're going to be sharing an encouraging word together. We want to hear the good news stories, what God's doing in your life. And then straight after that Facebook Live, all the Connect groups will be meeting together via Google Hangout. They'll be chatting, there'll be laughter, they'll be having a great time together. So if you're part of a Connect group, make sure you prioritise Tuesday evenings. And for those of you who aren't part of a Connect group and you want to get connected into our community, especially in this time of isolation, we ask you to email info at mylifechurch.co.uk and we'll make sure that you can get connected. Then on a Thursday evening, again at 7.30 on Facebook Live, we're going to be gathering together for prayer. We had our very, very first one on Thursday just gone, and we've had some great feedback of, of people getting connected and, and people um, being prayed for. So we would love you to join with us. And these are interactive sessions. These aren't just us talking. We want you to comment in the comments. We want you to let us know where you're watching from, what needs you've got, everything like that. So make sure you get a Thursday night in your diary as well at 7.30. Youth, unfortunately we're not going to be gathering together on Fridays but we are still going to be meeting again through Google Hangouts. We're going to be having two opportunities during the week for us to get together as young people, to play some games, to have a real fun time together, to encourage one another in this season where we maybe got to stay a bit more time at home. So put the Xbox controller down, turn Netflix off just for a moment and join us on Google Hangout. Parents, you'll be getting some more information about how to do that and young people, watch out on the group chat because of the times and the days are going to be coming out this week so that's going to be a super super exciting time then the final thing we want to make you aware of is lifeline 
in this season where people can feel alone, there's still need and, and, and we as a church still want to reach that need and, and help where we can. So we've launched Lifeline. Lifeline is a mobile number that you can call, you can text, you can WhatsApp, any need, practical need or any prayer need that maybe you've got. And we want you to join with us and, and, and to message us and so we can help you and support you in this time. So the number for that is going to come up on the screen, but I'll read it out as well. It is 07 385 127 198. So use that number, please. If you need help, if you feel alone, then make sure you get in touch via Lifeline. We're going to come around the Word of God together now. So we want you to do what you do every, every Sunday morning. Get your Bibles out, get your notepads out, be ready for the Word that Aaron's going to share with us. So let's be expecting for God to speak. Hey church, uh, I'm sure you will agree that uh, our tech team are doing an incredible job at helping to provide church today on this Sunday morning, Mothering Sunday. We want to say a massive hello to all you mums out there. And in fact, a celebration of all women today. Uh, you guys do an incredible job and uh, we want to thank you for that. You know, we as a church over the last few weeks have been looking at the book of Hebrews. And uh, this morning, if you've been at Live Church for any length of time, you'll be pleased to know I'm not going to take too long in sharing the word of God this morning. But I do want to kind of just pick out just one thing that uh, from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 as we continue our look through this incredible book. In chapter 11 there's two words that keep cropping up all the way through. In fact in my Bible they, they are um, announced 22 times. It's, it's two words, by faith. By faith. There, chapter 11 is a roll call really of uh, great men and women of God who did some incredible things for God and uh, by faith. It was a word that they'd received from God and then they acted on it through faith. In Genesis, we have uh, the, the, the story of creation. And in the story of creation, right at the very beginning, it says, in the beginning, God said, God created the heavens and the earth. And through creation, what we see is, is that God said a word and then there was creation from it. You know, I believe that if we want to be a people that live by faith, I believe that firstly we need to hear the word of God. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. And I believe that for each one of us in this particular time that we are living in, we need to be a people of faith. We need to stand on the word of God. We need to hear the word of God and then act on the word of God. My Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. We need to stand on the word of God that his love can take away fear that we may have in our own hearts and lives. I want to ask you a question this morning as you are sitting, wherever you're sitting, watching me right now. Are you going to be a person of fear or are you going to be a person of faith? Because actually we can choose to be a people of fear or we can, be a, a, we, or we can choose to be a person of faith by one thing and that is produced by our focus. Are we focusing on fear or are we focusing it on the Word of God? You've got to remember something that as I've already said that faith comes by hearing. So are we going to be a people that live by faith by hearing the Word of God or are we going to be a people of fear that actually listen to what may be going on around us? One of my favourite Bible stories is found in Matthew chapter 14. And it's the story of Peter and Jesus. And Jesus walks on the water and then calls out to Peter and says, Hey, Peter, come and follow me. Come and walk on the water with me. At that particular time, if you read it in Matthew chapter 14, is that there was a storm raging. All the disciples were in the boat. And if you read on before that, all the, all the, uh, the disciples were really, really fearful. And Peter uh, is a great man and he, he hears the word, he hears the word of faith that's been uh, produced by Jesus. Come follow me. He steps out of the boat and he begins to walk on the water towards Jesus. You can just imagine what the rest of the disciples in the boat were thinking. And then it says in verse 30 of chapter 14 in Matthew's gospel, it says that Peter saw the wind and began to sink. You see, 
Fear was produced because of his focus. His focus was no longer on Jesus. His focus was no longer on what Jesus was saying and who Jesus was. He, he was distracted by something else that was going on around him and fear was produced. And what began to happen? Uh, Peter began to sink and it says that he cried out to God, Lord, save me. And Jesus came and picked him up. But that fear was produced because of where he had put his focus. I don't know about you, but at this time that we are living in, is that are we going to be fearful, full of fear, or are we going to be faithful, full of faith? And I believe that it has something to do with standing on the Word of God, hearing the Word of God, faith comes by hearing, and then putting that into action and living that out wherever we go, whatever we do. At the moment, we are not meeting as a congregation in our church building. But let me tell you this, is that wherever we go, whatever we do, we have an opportunity to be the church of Jesus Christ. To be people that are full of faith, to be people that are full of hope, to be people that can bring peace into people's situations and calm the storm in people's lives. But we have to be careful where we put our focus. Is our focus on what the news is saying? Is is our focus on what the newspapers are saying? Is our focus on what people may be saying? Or is our focus on what God is saying? Because my Bible says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. My Bible says that as I've already said, His love casts out all fear. That as I've already said, that actually that we can be carriers of His peace, His love, His hope. But let me tell you this church, is that we have to be a people that are in His Word. Hearing His Word and being full of faith. You know, I, I know that at this time, it's a scary time. But we can choose to either be fearful or faithful. And I want to challenge you that if you are a Christian and you are watching this morning, be a person that hears the voice of God and then acts on it. Be a person that understands that His love is incredible, that actually His love is more powerful than anything else. And actually as we put into action His love, that we can see some incredible things happen. Maybe you're not a Christian this morning and you're watching. I want to tell you that Jesus loves you for who you are. That you don't need to try and be anything that you're not. That you can come to Jesus this morning as you're watching this. And you can close your eyes and say, Jesus, if you're out there, I want you to come and reside within me. And let me tell you this. You won't need any more uh, invitation. He can come in and he can take away all the stuff, all the worry, all the doubt that you are feeling. All the fear that maybe you are feeling and you can start on an incredible journey of faith with Jesus. I'm not saying that all your problems will go away in one fell swoop because that isn't the gospel but what it does mean is is that you have somebody that is with you that will stick closer than a brother that will be with you through thick and thin and he will help you in times of trouble that when we do feel fearful that we can go to him and he can sustain us and he can help us. So I want to challenge each one of you this morning that whether you uh, know it or not, that Jesus loves you, I want to challenge you this morning to be a person that puts your focus on Him rather than the surroundings. Because in chapter 11, it says, By faith, by faith, Abraham, by faith, Enoch, by faith, all these men and women of God, they acted because they'd got a word from God. And even though I'm sure that there were times where they were thinking, Do you know what, is this really true? They stepped out and God broke in. And sometimes what happens is, is that we need to step out before God steps in. We need to actually be a person of faith that steps out of the boat. So maybe you're thinking, well, do I send that text? Send it. Maybe you're thinking, do I make that phone call and, and tell somebody that I love them? Do it. You may be thinking, well, is that really something that God would tell me to do? Absolutely. Because I believe that in this time, we need to be people that are practical in our love. Practical in our actions of showing the love of who Jesus is. At this time, I'm going to pray. And I want to invite you this morning just to maybe close your eyes in your living room or at your dining room table or wherever you are. And I'm going to pray for you. 
And I'm going to pray that actually that God will be with you at this time. And if you're not a Christian, as I've already said, I want you to pray uh, a prayer with me as we pray together. And I say, Lord Jesus, God, I thank you for each and every person that is watching this morning. And God, I pray that you will be with them. That Lord Jesus, where people have let their focus slip off, off, off you, God, and, and, and is more on what is happening around them. God, I pray that Father, that they will shift their focus once again and place it on you, the author and the finisher of our faith. God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. That Father, that you know the end from the beginning. You know what is happening and you know what is going to happen. And Father, I pray that Lord Jesus, that you will be with each and every person at this time that God, that they will not have a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind because they have got their focus fixed on you. And Father, I pray for every single person that maybe doesn't know you this morning, that in this moment, God, I pray that you will break through any screen, oh God, and speak to the spirit of every person. And every person that doesn't know you, and Father, I pray that, Lord Jesus, that you can speak. And even at this moment now, that people can find you for who you are. Be close, O oh God, that people will feel you, a tangible presence of your Holy Spirit in people's rooms right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, if you prayed uh, that prayer this morning, maybe you're not a Christian and you prayed with me and you said, God, if you're out there, I want to know you. I want you to do something with me. And maybe that you can uh, just email us at info at mylifechurch.co.uk and tell us that you said yes to Jesus and we can send you some details. Maybe this morning that you're a Christian and you're watching this and you think to yourself, do you know what? Something that of what Aaron said this morning really spoke to me. Hey, will you tell us? Us, just email us at info at mylifechurch.co.uk and tell us, encourage us in what we're trying to do. Hey church, I know that these are unprecedented times as everybody keeps saying, but I, I know that God is with us. I know that God is with you and I know that this time can be one of the greatest times in the church's living memory as we together push forward into everything that he has forward for us. I, God bless you church. I want to say that we love you that we are with you and that we champion each one of you. Thank you for everything that you're doing and keep going and we'll see you soon. God bless. Wow, what an incredible word from Aaron we've just heard. And I want to encourage you to put those words into action this week. Let them not just be great words that we hear, but actually be words that we live by. We're going to come around our time of giving now. And uh, for those of you that call Life Church home, this is where we sow into the local house. Even though we're not together and the buckets aren't going to pass us by, we still believe in the act of giving into the local house, giving to church. And if you're not part of Life Church, there is no pressure or obligation for you to give. But if you want to participate, then you're more than welcome to. And in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 29 in the Old Testament, it speaks about the people of God bringing their gifts to the temple, bringing their gifts to the local church in order for the church to accomplish everything that God had called it to do. And in this time, we as a church, we have a really clear calling and we want to reach people, build community and support people where needed. So uh, I'm just going to read this passage to you. We're going to read in verse 14, it says, But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you and we have given you only what comes from your hand. See, did you know that everything that we have, it comes from God? The clothes, the, the homes that you're in now, the devices that you're watching us on, everything we have comes from God. So when we're giving, it's not God asking for something that he hasn't already given us. And with our finances, we believe here at Life Church that when we give to God, that actually he blesses us back. And that's not why we give, but that is the, the overflow of the joy of us being able to give. So I want to encourage you right now to join with us, not just to sit back and and let this moment pass you by but I want you to head onto the website mylifechurch.co.uk you can scroll down to the donate part and from there you'll be able to give the amount of your choice you can pop in your card details there and you can partner with us at this time for those of you um, on Life Church who are on Church Suite you can also go on via the app and you can donate that way but we want to thank you for your ongoing generosity that in this time is helping us to continue to be the hands and the feet of Jesus so that's pray Pray together as we come around our giving. Heavenly Father, we thank you 
Lord, that everything does come from you as we've just read, Lord. And we thank you that even in these uncertain times, Lord, that the things that we do have, Lord, they are a blessing from you. And Lord, in this moment, Lord, we make the decision, we choose to be generous, Lord, to give back to you as you have instructed, Lord, and to, and to sow into the work of the local church. So Father, I pray, Lord, that you will take this money this morning, Lord, you will use it for your glory. And Lord, that we will know your blessing and your presence with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, church, for your generosity. Hey church, well, what a great service we've had this morning. I know it's been different, as I keep saying, but it's been incredible. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If it's your first time with us, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, you come back next week. Uh, if you've been many times before to Live Church, well, we hope you've enjoyed it too and I hope you come back next week as well. Hey, from all of us here at Live Church, have a great week, stay safe, and we will see you on Tuesday night for our Connect series that is going to be on Facebook Live. So we'll hope to see you there. God bless you and we'll see you soon, church. Thank you.